The Mountain Pine Beetle, Identification, Impact, and Control. Produced by Fire Adapted Bailey. The mountain pine beetle poses a significant threat to Colorado's forests, including many properties in the Bailey area. This guide will show you how to identify these beetles, help you understand how they attack trees, and most importantly, explain several methods to protect your pines from infestation. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly what signs to look for and what actions to take if you spot them. Mountain pine beetles are native to Colorado and target specific pine trees in our region. These aggressive insects primarily attack ponderosa and lodgepole pines. Let's start by learning how to tell these two pine species apart. Knowing your trees is the first step in protecting them. The ponderosa pine is easy to identify by three main features. Their needles are long, about the length of your palm, and they grow in bundles of two or three. The cones are large and oval, about the size of your fist. And the bark is distinctive, orange-yellow with plate-like patterns, or black on younger trees. These majestic trees are prime targets for beetle attacks, especially those with trunks wider than six inches. Lodgepole pines are also vulnerable to beetle attacks, but they look quite different from ponderosas. Their needles are shorter, just one to three inches long, and always grow in pairs. The cones are small, about the size of a chicken egg, and some stay sealed on the tree for years until opened by fire. Their bark may have a two-tone appearance, gray on the shaded side, and cinnamon-colored where the sunshine hits it. Both ponderosa and lodgepole pines can host mountain pine beetles, and the warning signs of infestation are the same in both species. Don't let their small size fool you. Mountain pine beetles are surprisingly destructive. Their Latin name, Dendroctinus ponderosae, literally means ponderosa tree killer. These insects are only about as big as a grain of rice, with dark, shiny bodies and rounded rear ends. While they typically fly just a mile or so on their own, wind can carry swarms up to 60 miles, allowing infestations to spread rapidly through our forests. Mountain pine beetles use a sophisticated attack strategy. First, female beetles select and attack a tree. Then, they release chemical signals that attract more beetles, and together they can overwhelm even healthy pines. A successful attack means certain death for the tree, which is why early detection is crucial. Watching for these symptoms will help you spot an attack in its early stages. The first signs are reddish boring dust in bark crevices and around the tree's base. You'll also notice popcorn-shaped masses of pitch on the trunk, called pitch tubes, these are usually white or cream-colored and feel soft and sticky when fresh. Healthy trees will fight back by producing profuse pitch, sometimes trapping and killing the attacking beetles. If you see beetles stuck in pitch tubes, that's good news. It means your tree is defending itself. But if beetles do get in, they follow a temperature-dependent schedule. They attack in mid-July to late August. Mate lay eggs, and their larvae develop through fall. They go dormant all winter. By spring, these larvae are feeding heavily under the bark. Come early summer, larvae become immature beetles, which will mature to emerge and attack more trees. The beetles carry another deadly weapon, blue stain fungus. This fungus blocks the tree's water system and within a year, you'll see needles turning yellow to red as the tree dies. Once you notice red needles, it's too late to save that tree, but proper treatment is crucial to protect others nearby. When you find an infested tree, quick action is essential. 
First, confirm the infestation is active by carefully removing some bark at or above the pitch tubes. Look for J-shaped egg galleries with beetle activity and check multiple spots on the tree. You have several effective treatment options. Once the tree has been cut and limbs removed, here are the most reliable methods for treating the infested wood. Bark removal works year-round. Strip away the bark wherever you see pitch tubes, continuing up the full length of the egg galleries. This exposes the beetles to sunlight and predators and halts their development. The cut and split method is another good choice that can be done in the fall and winter. Cut infested logs into firewood lengths, split them immediately, and stack the wood in single rows in a sunny, windy spot, away from healthy trees. Keep stacks under four feet high with three feet of space between them. Solar treatment can be effective if you have a sunny location. Cut infested logs into four to six foot lengths and place them in direct sunlight. When larvae are no longer active on the top side, roll the logs to expose a new side to the sun's heat. This method works best from fall through early summer. For chemical treatment, Diesel fuel can be applied to the bark. Roll logs to treat all surfaces. Use rubber gloves to minimize skin exposure to oil. Avoid ground contamination. This method works in any season. Be sure not to smoke while applying diesel oil. Smaller logs can be chipped or masticated. Spread the chips thinly, less than three inches deep, to allow water to penetrate down and vegetation to grow up. For the branches, also called slash, you have the following options. Chip, masticate, cut them into small pieces and scatter them in open areas, or compactly pile them for winter burning where permitted, or haul them to slash disposal sites. Important reminders. Never transport infested trees without treatment. This can spread beetles to new areas. And remember, treating one tree isn't enough if nearby trees are infested. Don't delay treatment once infestation is confirmed. Treating healthy-looking trees that show signs of beetle attack is a proactive way to fight infestation. Treating even half of the infected trees makes a big difference in future beetle populations. Consider coordinating with your neighbors for more effective control. Protecting your trees requires year-round vigilance. Each season brings different warning signs to watch for. Winter might seem quiet, but watch for increased woodpecker activity. These birds target beetle-infested trees, and their bark flaking can reveal hidden problems. Early summer brings the first signs of needle discoloration in affected trees. Check your pines every few weeks and take action before the next beetle flight season begins. Summer is critical. Watch for small exit holes, without pitch around them, in the bark. This indicates that the beetles have emerged and are on the way to attack new trees. In fall, check for fresh, soft, sticky pitch tubes on tree trunks and reddish boring dust in bark crevices. This is when new attacks begin, so catching them early is crucial. Remember, successful treatment stops the cycle. Coordinate with neighbors when possible, as beetles don't respect property lines. Early detection and quick action are your best tools for protecting your forests. Throughout this tutorial, you've learned the essential skills for protecting your property from mountain pine beetles. You can now identify vulnerable ponderosa and lodgepole pines, spot the early warning signs of an attack, and recognize when beetles have overwhelmed a tree's defenses. You understand their seasonal life cycle and how they spread through our forests. Most importantly, you know the steps to take when you find an infested tree and how proper treatment can help protect our entire forest community. Stay vigilant, act quickly when you spot problems and work with your neighbors. Together, we can limit the impact of mountain pine beetles on Colorado's forests. Contact your local forestry office 
or visit fireadaptedbailey.org for additional guidance and resources.